<laughs> Welcome back to the lab with Leo. You haven't lost your cruel ways, Mr. Norton. Um, I was telling Patrick, foolishly told Patrick, that I haven't yet seen the last episode of The Sopranos. I don't know what's going to happen. And he's, tell he's making up stuff that's going to happen. <laughs> no, 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 I don't want to hear. All right, let's get another call in here. Kate Abraham. We have Scott, and he is from the birthplace of producer Matt, Aurelia in Ontario. And like Matt, awesomely cool. Hey, <laughs> whatever that means, it's awesomely cool. Hello, Scott. Hello, Leo. Welcome to the and show. Did I hear correctly that you've got Patrick Norton there with you, too? Can you believe that, ladies and gentlemen? It's the Screensavers reunion. It's the Screensavers reunion. Oh, good Lord. What a day to be on the show. <laughs> All the old tech TV fans are just going crazy right now. You know, it's, <laughs> it's funny because Patrick and I worked together probably three years together, three or four, four, three or four. We haven't worked together. We haven't worked together in almost three years. And yet, it's just like old times when we get back together again. We, you don't have a mic, so you, you can say things, but nobody will know what you're saying. After the first 1,200 hours, the, the next 45 minutes is easy. It gets easy, doesn't it? It's yeah. funny. It's so funny. No, I really feel like we're the Martin and Lewis of technology. We're kind of, you know, <laughs> and I know which one I am because you're the well, suave, yeah, smooth dipper. Well, I'll tell you what, children. Scott, if you ask a really hard question, I'll ask Patrick to answer it. Well, it's probably something that Patrick's going to have a little bit more knowledge on anyway. Because Perfect. As far as I remember from the screensavers, he was always the one with the upcoming technology and what's new and what's going to blow us away in the forms of motherboards and what's coming along with the uh, chipsets and everything like that. And with Come on, just keep rubbing it in, Scott. Just that. keep rubbing it in. He's saying that you're like up on everything and I'm just not following uh, all the latest technology like Patrick does. Oh, yeah. Well, I didn't. <laughs> Mister, I know every social <laughs> know networking tool three months before I've even Yeah, when are we it? getting you on Facebook, Patrick? Eventually. Yeah, right. All right, Scott, go ahead. Ask your question. Let's, you've, got, you've got the uh, A team on it now. <laughs> Perfect. Well, my question is actually to do with the upcoming technology and all these new motherboards and all the new chips that are coming out with Intel's Core 2 Duo that's blowing everybody away. What's AMD going to do? And what's the best operating system to run it with? Like, is Vista, now that we've had some time to play with it, doesn't seem like... Oh, that's a like great it, question. Yeah. Vista doesn't seem like it's doing all that good right now. Right. And it's not like Microsoft's going to. back to XP, of course. I mean... <laughs> I stuck with XP. Yeah. I, I, I don't know about Patrick. I'm, let me ask Patrick, because what I've been saying is you should stick with XP unless you have a compelling reason to go to Vista that, for instance, you have software that requires it or you're having a, a devil of a time keeping XP working. I think going to Vista is, a, a, a not, is imprudent right now. Uh, yeah, I mean, if, if I, you... If you like playing with operating systems, if you want to see the shiny new stuff, great. Go upgrade to Vista. Almost everybody I know, except Robert Heron, the guy I co-host with on DLTV, loves Vista. He thinks it's the best operating system ever, has had no problems with it. Everybody else I know was like, ah, they loaded it, they bought yeah. it, and they went, great, I'm going to run it later on. It, I think in time it will be a big improvement. There's some nice new features. The problem is the compatibility issue, and that's true anytime you get a new driver operating support system. support is still a mess, especially if you have older hardware, more obscure hardware. Right. And it's interesting, even Dell, actually, after a couple months of being like, we're only selling Vista now. Sort of slid in the option to go with XP on. Uh, uh, you know why? They they have this Dell uh, feature where you can go on Dell's website and tell them what you think is a customer, and the customer said, "Please bring back XP. We don't want Vista." Yeah. So well, customer demand. For, from my experience, I tried the the uh, that RC build of mm -hmm. uh, Vista there, and I put it on my computer. It was running fine for a while, and then it would just shut down all of well, a sudden without any warning. To be was, fair, you weren't using the release version. You were right. using a beta. I find it to be fairly reliable, don't and you? The other thing is when the RC version shut down, a lot of times it's because the RC version has expired. Yeah. Uh. But Vista, Vista, as shipped, has been completely reliable. It's just it's compatible compatibility issues with existing hardware and software. That's yeah. the biggest problem. Its, yeah. its security model, I think, is an improvement, although we're already seeing flaws in Vista. That's because... Windows is a target, and every hacker in the world, the first thing they're going to do is try to break in. There's always, I mean, if you look hard enough, there's going to be security, you know, there's going to be vulnerabilities in every operating every system. Every operating system. OS X, Linux, Absolutely. Vista. Uh, but, you know, if you... But if Vista's you, the, the, the place people want, right? Exactly. I think it's a great, if you're buying a new machine, Vista's an option. Uh, the Media Center stuff and the new version of Vista, I think, is 
just fabulous. How's that for? Can I can I say fabulous? You can say that word. Fabulous. Yes, you started um, another word. You couldn't say. No, fabulous no, no. Is a good word. That wasn't the word. But I mean, it's <laughs> there's some really good stuff to it. But if you if you have XP running, you're happy with XP. Unless you're you know I'm Mister Experimenty dude, just save your money, spend it on some more memory for your XP installation, and then wait before you get Vista. There is one big issue uh, with Vista that still is unresolved, and this is the issue of all the copy protection they put in there. Remember, Microsoft did Hollywood's bidding and made Vista completely compliant with Hollywood's requests for copy protection, whether you use high-def media or not. And I think this is going to end up biting them. I think this slows Vista down. It makes it less reliable. It makes it harder to, and this is one of the reasons we're not seeing device drivers pop up, it makes it harder to make device drivers for sound and video cards. I think that might be a mistake. And, and while you may like the, the, the home media edition, uh, and there's certainly some nice features, I worry about this copy protection stuff. You know what? There's always Ubuntu, throw a little Myth TV on top yeah. of it, get your Linux on, be all yeah. open source. Because I mean, look, if 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 the RIAA and the MPAA, you know, lean on Microsoft, and and these are American agencies, but since Microsoft is an American company, They're they lean on them they really say. hard, yeah. and it messes things up for everybody else in the world. You know what? Great. We'll gut Microsoft's primary revenue stream by moving the entire universe to Linux, and then we'll really have tremendous the tremendous support, even more so than we have for Linux now. How's that? I, I like Linux. I, I think Linux is a good choice, Scott. Uh, you know, Patrick and I are both big Linux fans. We were the first people ever to install Linux on on national television live. The only one. Yeah, I, know. I don't think anybody else has done it yet. I didn't see it on Oprah last week, but I, but anyway, uh, we've always been fans, and I think Linux is a very good choice. And I think Ubuntu now is, has gotten to the point where it's very close to a consumer-grade operating system, but very close isn't all there, and I think you still have to yeah. go into the command line and do stuff. And So I think, you know, I think XP, right? I think we're in agreement. Yeah. Right now, XP is the way to go on Intel, on Intel stuff, unless you're using a Mac. I happen to like Macs. Well, you know what? I've had the opportunity to use Macs, and I've had... No problem with this. I love Max. It's just the price tag that I have a problem yeah. with. I, you know, I Max, I, I Mac everywhere now because I can run Windows and Linux, so I run all three, and and I'm very very happy. So that's that's, but that's a whole other discussion for another day. There, you got a little mini screen savers. How about that, Scott? Oh, that's great. <laughs> hey, I'm so glad you called. Thanks a lot. You I'm picked the perfect too. time. Thank you very much. And thank you, Patrick, for being here. It's so much fun to go back and forth with Patrick again. Meanwhile, let's wander over here and say hi to Ryan Ewell. He is our jewel. Yes, thank and you. And he does great free files every single day okay. on the show, unless I talk too long and 